thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume and other fun stuff. Today, I'm super excited to have been tagged by Canada Kim 1978. So thank you so much, Kim, for tagging me in this. So I'm gonna be talking today about my green perfume bottles. So some of these have actual green bottles and some of them have greenish juice. So I'm just gonna kind of run through all my bottles that have green and I've got some real favorites in here. So this is kind of a fun topic. This is a fun tag with St. Patrick's Day coming up on the 17th. Thank you so much, Kim, for tagging me in this fun tag video. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is from Le Rolario and this is just called Rhubarb because it's a very beautiful rhubarb fragrance that's got some other notes added in with it. It's just bright and beautiful and really great for layering. And I just love this one. So Lerbolario is an Italian brand that I've come to really appreciate. And I really love this little spin on rhubarb. Then I've got from Lush, this is Confetti and it's got kind of a greenish juice. So I decided to throw it in. It's just a really interesting, interesting fragrance that's like earthy and it's got coffee and some interesting notes and it's just really beautiful. I love it. And um, unfortunately it's discontinued, but I thought I'd mention it because it's greenish. I have another from Lerbolario. This one's called Fresca Essenza. And this is just like your beautiful, citrusy, fresh, gorgeous fragrance. And I really love this one. I'm really looking forward to wearing this one now that it's starting to warm up a little bit because I really haven't worn it much yet, but I think it's gorgeous. And I love, again, I love this brand and yeah, so that's Fresca Essenza from Le Berlario. I've got several from Mugler here, and one of them is Aura. This is the Eau de Toilette. So this is a brighter and more kind of zesty and punchy and just lighter and brighter than the original. But we also have the original. This one kind of lives over on my husband's shelf. So this is the Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette. I like this one a little better. This one's a little bit more serious. This one's just kind of, I mean, the bottle is lighter, but I think these bottles are so beautiful. So I like both of them. Like I said, I like this one a little better, but beautiful. They both have rhubarb notes. They're both really interesting. This one is a little more on the masculine side, but they're both really gender neutral. My other Mugler today is Cryptamint. So this is from the Amen line, which is the angel for men line. And this is like Amen, but it's got more mint. So it's got a nice pop of mint. It's really beautiful. So if you like angel, you like mint, you might love this. So that's Cryptamint. Um, I threw in this one. I can't tell if this is yellow or green. It seems like it's kind of similar to confetti, but lighter. Anyway, this is Zara Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. So this is a mochi fragrance. So it smells like tea and it's very beautiful and very interesting. It's got rice and it's just a really light, pleasant. I think this is gonna be great for spring and summer. That's Mochi Atelier in Tokyo from Zara. This is Green Lover from Lolita Lampica. This is another one of my husband's. This is just a really beautiful, fresh. It's kind of got the original Lolita Lampica DNA, but it's just fresher, it's lighter. It's a little more, it's not really that masculine, but it's like very gender neutral. It's very pretty and fresh and very cheap. So I really like Green Lover. Got one from Pin Rose. This one's called Garden Gangster. And this one is like total citrus bomb. I really love this one. It's great for layering. It's just a beautiful citrus. And I think it's discontinued, but um, I think it's pretty easy to find on Mercari if you're interested, but it's very citrusy. Lasting power is not awesome, but it's a really pretty citrus. I've got two from Jo Malone. I've got, these are kind of recent additions to my collection and I got them both on FragranceNet for a pretty good deal. So the first one is Osmanthus Blossom and the second one is Star Magnolia. These are both really pretty and refreshing and they don't have great longevity, but they're just really nice. And I don't mind that they don't last super long because I didn't pay that much for them. I think they were around 60 each, which I think is pretty reasonable because they're so beautiful. They're refreshing. They're just the really lovely kind of easy reach, beautiful fragrances. So again, that's Star Magnolia and Osmanthus Blossom, both from Jo Malone. One of my favorites for summer is Deseo from Jennifer Lopez. Um, I'm just finishing off this bottle and then I have a backup bottle of it. Sadly, it's discontinued, but it's one of my favorite summer fragrances because it's just like a classic summery vibe. It's a little bit sunscreeny, but it's just really beautiful, floral, beachy, salty. Love it. And um, I really don't want to be without this one. So I'm going to have to be nursing this bottle over the summer, but Anyway, that's Deseo from Jennifer Lopez. This one Kim talked about in her video. This is from Elizabeth Arden, and this is the Green Tea Pear Blossom. This is a gorgeous pear. It's a little bit of a sour tart, 
doesn't have great lasting power, but it's so pretty and refreshing. I love this one. So I think this is the newest from the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea line. And I think the artwork is cute. It's just a really pretty, refreshing and juicy pear. So that's a beauty. And then I've got English Pear and Freesia from Jenny Glow. This is a dupe for Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I did a comparison video. If you want to check that out, I'll put it up in the cards. But this is a really pretty English Pear and Freesia. Just like it sounds, there aren't a lot of other notes, but it's a very beautiful and great for spring. Just a lovely, lovely fragrance. And I don't think it's too far off of the original Jo Malone. So that's English Pear and Freesia from Jenny Glow. This is Gucci Memoir d'une Odeur. And this is a gorgeous chamomile tea fragrance. It's oh, it's just so elegant and beautiful. And I think this bottle is stunning. Um, it's just a really gorgeous chamomile fragrance. It's great for layering with different things. And it's just really pretty. It's not very strong. It's not very long lasting, but it's just a really beautiful tea fragrance. If you like chamomile tea and the smell of it, you might like this, but this one tends to be a little bit polarizing. People either kind of seem to love it or hate it. I really love it. So that's Gucci Memoir d'une Odeur. I can't believe I forgot to talk about Hermes. So this is Hermes Jardin sur le Nil, and it's so beautiful. This is like one of my favorites. So I'm not sure how I missed it, but it's a grapefruit and juicy and citrusy and just a gorgeous summer fragrance. I really love this one. I think the bottle is beautiful and I didn't want to forget this one because it's so, so beautiful. So again, that's Hermes Jardin sur le Nil. So that wraps up my green bottle. Thank you again to Kim for tagging me in this. This was a lot of fun. And I will tag some folks below, but I always do an open tag. So if you're interested in doing this tag, please consider yourself tagged. And if I tag you and you're too busy, that's okay. You know, it's just supposed to be fun. So have fun with it. And thank you so much for being here today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks.